So let me show you now. You're going to see here, you go through Chavi, and I'm going to stop it already here. Look at Andres Iniesta. How many times we would have seen a player coming and asking for the ball here? Not with Barcelona. Stay in your position, trust your teammate on the ball, and wait for the ball. And look at where I am. Up there. That position allows Iniesta to get the ball where you saw it before, because I'm occupying the right back. I'm going to let it run. Eto comes. Chavis on the ball. Leo is where he's supposed to be. Out. Now that's when the freedom starts to, to come. I'm going to pose it around here. This is me. Set free, so to speak. Freedom. Last third run, you allow two. You start in a high position and wide. After that, you can do whatever you want. Same thing here. You can actually see me going backwards to go back to the wing because that's where I was supposed to be and that's where he wanted me to be. So you're going to see soon, because I vacate that space, Leo Messi is going to come and get the ball there. He gets the ball. I make my run. Hey, I didn't get the ball. What do I do? I come back and make another run for Samuel Eto. I get the ball. I didn't score, but Eto does. Freedom. And here you will not get a better picture than this. Two years later, I'm not there anymore. David Villa, one of the best center forward in the game, in his position where he should be. They pass the ball, and that's pretty aware what you see, Travi and, 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 uh, and Andres being in the same, on the same side of the ball. But because he's holding that position so high, then they can play inside. They can play inside, Pedro is in the pocket, ball coming, and I want to stop around here. That's why he has to stay there for this. The run of Iniesta. Sergio Ramos is in trouble right now because if he doesn't follow, as you can see, Iniesta, he goes 1v1 with the keeper. Xavi on the ball, trust me, that's a 1v1 with the keeper. <laughs> on the other side, therefore, he cannot mark two men at the same time. But that's in he has to run them forward, isn't it? Don't yeah, it is. Freedom. Mata and Fellaini just stood still in position. And that's freedom. Next thing you know, who's going to score? Your other winger. Inside. Freedom. You're allowed to go. You're not over there by, by the line, I don't know why, talking to the corner flag. That's where you want to be, and that's where you're going to score a goal. And this is what we used to do. Same thing. I'm not there anymore, but the same concept. Right about here. He can... I'm going to try to, to, to pass, go a bit forward with it and leave it here. So I'm going to bring you back to Martial and the run he made. Instead of going, he went out. David Villa, same thing, striker, goals. To win a game, you need to score goals. He's there. What does he see? He's winning his battle. Run. In, not by the corner flag or going over there by the touchline. He wants to score a goal. Trust your teammates, he's going to find you. What a pass and what a finish. Well, you're talking about the freedom he gave you that you don't think our lives given to the Manchester United players. Would he just say, just go out and play, or do you still have instructions in that? Basically, from training to the game, up until the last third, like I said before, he used to, I used to call it the, he used to call it two, the three Ps. Play. Possession and position. And the most important one, as you can see, was position. You have to stay in your position, trust your teammates in order for that ball to come to you. So, for example, if, uh, we, I, I'm going to show you now if I, if I can. Sometime in training, to make you understand that, and especially for Xavi and Iniesta, he was putting some cones, and I'm going to draw a line here. It's easier for me. Up until, I would say, the last third, okay? And guys that were supposed to play on the right were not allowed to cross on the left, and on the left you're not allowed to cross on the right. So I'm going to put a line also for the last third where that was 
freedom for us. So similar to Van Gaal in, in the face. Yeah, very similar. It, it, listen, you had the plan. If you don't actually do what he's asking you to do here, you're going to be in trouble. Well, well, what, OK, so you're playing left wing. If you, so, you, you want maybe what you did at Arsenal when I played on another side, what would happen? Listen, I, I, I wanted to be clever one day, like we all try to do. Sometimes it, you, you kind of don't listen to your manager because you didn't touch the ball for a little while and you're like, OK, they're enjoying football over there. Let me try and see if I can be part of it. So me being me, I went there a couple of times to play with Leo, one, two, or whatever it was. And, and I could hear him go, being upset on the, on the side because I was on, on the side of the dugout. I still went there. I didn't really care, you know. I scored a goal. One nil up against Sporting Lisbon. Come back at halftime. All nice and everything. It took me off. <laughs> no way. I, it did. I was like, what, what did I do wrong? So, very similar to Van Gaal. When Pep had the plan, respect his plan. Mm. That's you. So, he used to say to us the first time he took the team, he said, my job is to bring you up until the last third. Your job is to finish it. Mm. That's what he used to say to us.